Hey guys, Shadow here, and today I have a Western Digital MyBook 4 terabyte drive. This is what this is actually going to do is this is actually going to upgrade my Xbox storage. I have the 500 gigabytes regular internal storage. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to I'm going to show you the unboxing as well as setting it up. Um, so let's begin with the unboxing. Uh, this usually does come with plastic wrap, but we did the only thing that's been opened was just to make sure that everything came inside of it. Um, apparently they've had a couple of, they've come back and uh, didn't have all the parts in it at the place where I bought it. Um, so I don't know, quite know how that happens, especially with plastic around it, but apparently it has happened. Uh, so, no instructions. So there is the USB super speed. USB 3.0 port. And this is the power brick. Nice little small power brick. I'm happy with that. That makes me happy in what they send. And now for the actual drive. So my only hope with this, just because of how it is, is I am hoping, just a second, we're gonna check it here. Okay, good. Looks like there is no supply air supply or anything. So there's the side. Just one side, the front, and then the back. I'm glad to see that there is no air vents on the back on the side because this is gonna actually be laying down because of the way that my system is. Sorry if that crunkling was loud. Throw that over there. Um, but yeah it is meant to be like this but mine's probably gonna lay on its side just because of the space that I have. So a nice little indicator light. It's actually oh yeah. I hate gloss finish. This is why, if you can see all that dust on there. And there's the connections. So these are all, as you probably all know, these are your air vents, standard. Um, just sec, yeah. Air vents on the bottom as well. So actually, I'm actually happier with the fact that I'm actually probably gonna lay it on the side. But, so there it is, there's all your simple simple things and now I'm gonna be right back I'm gonna hook it up to the Xbox and we're gonna start uh, showing you how to uh, operate it and set it up to your Xbox because it is a little bit different than setting it up to your computer uh, this one is just meant to be hooked to a single device and not to be a NAS that is why this one is probably the best but it does have Dropbox capabilities perfect for the new operating system of Xbox We'll get into that more later too when I'm showing you guys all around it. Alright, see you when it's all set up. So, I've got the Xbox hooked up. I've got this hooked up to the Xbox, but I don't have it plugged in yet. Uh, just, I did a little bit of rearranging as well. This is temporary, guys. I know, it's a terrible rat's nest. It's just temporary for a little bit here. I'll be doing much later in the future when I move out. Be doing other things. Yeah, so right here is the drive. Uh, got the Xbox on. This is actually the screen I'm recording on. But got the Xbox here. And what I'm going to do now, that's all on. I'm going to... Sorry, that's a terrible... Plug it in. And now when it's plugged in, this little white light here is going to be on. And after a few seconds, it should pop up. Uh, there we go. So now, it's, it's popped up. External 3.6, awesome. Uh, so as you can see, if you choose to use this external storage for media, music, videos, and pictures, you'll keep any content that is currently on the drive uh, this much. Or if you choose to use it for games and apps, the drive needs to be formatted. That is because Xbox uses a completely different format than uh, what you use for your media. No big deal. Uh, you can manage the device later in setting system and storage. What we want to do is we want to format the storage device. So we're going to do that. External. Uh... Oh, that was a bad idea. 
<laughs> I'm just going to format. This pops up. This is because I can do this on my keyboard. Uh, what am I actually going to call it? Just going to call it WD Book for TV. Just so I don't know which storage device it is, I do have another one that I'm actually going to show you guys how to rename one. Uh, oh, that's not a lot. There we go. So we're going to call it that. If you make the place to install new games and apps, we'll use that from now on. The four terabytes I am actually installing. When formatting is done, you'll be able to use the games and apps on my drive with any Xbox One you plug it into. That is why I'm installing all new games onto it. This is going to be it. Um, so I want to format it. And now it's going to take a little bit. Um, just to format. Do, do, there we go. External storage is ready. Hold the launch. And so it comes up with nothing. But internal, all my games. Uh, I'm going to do a comparison of a couple of these games just for loading up. I know this one and the crew both take up a lot of a lot of place. And yes, I only have 3.4 gigabytes. And I when it actually loads, I've got lots. But anyways, um, so yeah, that's how you view it. That's how you install it. 8.8%. Kind of loud. But anyways, I've got this other drive. I'm actually going to do a comparison of all three drives. And then what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to show you what GTA does loading up on the computer and seeing uh, if it's really a difference. I'm not going to actually show it. Uh, but just show it a computer and optimization and everything can do. Because it, in the end, can do actually a lot more. Um, just waiting for this other one to show up. But. Yeah, so. I'm actually looking really forward to showing you guys lots of what all happens when you install. Because these are going to be faster. The two external drives that I have are going to be faster than what's inside of the Xbox. Because um, it's a 5200 RPM, meaning that the discs inside are 5200 ro uh, rotations per minute. That's what RPM stands for. Uh, so those ones are 5200, and this one is a numbers game. The higher the number, the faster it goes. The one I got in this one right here. This one is a 6400. It was extremely rare, actually. I don't know how, because I can't find any of them, can't find any information on them, but it reads at 6400. And then the pa uh, my book from Western Digital is a 7200 RPM. So, that's just how it works. I think it's sweet that it works that way. Okay, so unfortunately I couldn't get actually my other storage device to work. I'm going to have to take a look at that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do a full review. This was just how to set it up and everything. Uh, this works for pretty much any uh, external hard drive, not just... See, there we go. Uh, yeah, pretty much any external hard drive this works on, not just the MyBook. Um... The MyBook was actually really simple to set up. I was happy with that. Um, so first impressions on it are really good. I just wish they get rid of that glossy finish and go more of what like what the Xbox controller is. But so, Western Digital, please. I have enough gloss in this area. I would really have rather not have more, but it was the best deal. So, or at least here where I live, it was definitely the best deal. It was actually. For some reason, just the way that it was, it was actually cheaper to get the 4 terabyte than it was the 2 and the 3 terabyte. So, yeah, awesome. Awesome to whoever figured that one out, because I'm happy with what I got. But anyway, guys, guys, hope you enjoyed this. Look forward to, 
I got an RC car video that I'm updating because I broke it just a couple days after unboxing it. Yep, that was really swell. But I'm also going to do a full review on this on how the different games load differently and go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of just the unboxing and how to set up. I'm hoping to bring you guys more on everything really. So subscribe to keep in touch. Like this video if you liked it. And hey, why not check out my social media? More to come. Right now I'm just posting when I upload videos. So hoping to make that more of a thing. Alright, talk to you guys in the next video.